Welcome to GriffoMedia.com. I'm Griffo. One of the big questions on my channel is, what kind of rig have you got? And what have you got on it? And how do you get the Logitech G29 working with all these crazy games? Today I'm going to address that for you. I'm also going to update a previous video because there is one of these on my channel already. So this is kind of the go-to video uh, in terms of that. Uh, Track Racer comes from Australia. And it's just really nice. It's a steel construction. It's dead solid. I've had it now for three years. And you get this little F1 seat, which is bolted to it, and it's fully adjustable as well. So that's cool. Uh, recently, I got myself a gaming PC to add to my vast array of consoles already. And uh, so I thought to myself, well, I need uh, the Track Racer additional uh, housing for keyboard and mouse, which actually mounts onto the, uh, the frame there. So that's cool, and it's really sturdy. It's made of metal, so it gives it a nice little look. So if I just pan off here, so you can see it kind of does its job. I'll go a little bit higher up, so you can see. There you go. So cool. So yeah, I got myself a gaming PC recently, which runs a lot of great games. Uh, there's a lot of classics that weren't out for consoles, so that's kind of nice. Some of the arcade races as well. But let's just go through what, what I run. So I've got a obviously a gaming PC, which is really high spec. And then, here's the console selection. So I've got Xbox One, PS4, Xbox 360, and there's a PS3 at the top. Above that, you can see a controller for PSVR. I have PSVR who would not be playing Drive Club with a rig like this. Great game. And that little Apple TV looking box there, can you see? Forgive the little bits of dust. <laughs> uh, that little box is made by Rear Snow, and there's a video on my channel showing that basically you can use the Logitech G29 with all the other consoles, including the Nintendo Switch. So the Logitech G29 is made for PC, PS3, and PS4. But you use the USB from the wheel going into that little device there. And then the device connects to any of the consoles. And then you get full force feedback on the wheel. Um, I did have two wheels, actually. I had the G29 and the G920. And uh, hot swapping those wheels and clamping them became a bit of a pain. So I got the converter. And the converter allows me to play such games. Uh, one of my videos on the channel actually can be quite frustrating because it's uh, me playing Need for Speed, uh, one of the Need for Speed titles that came out. I think it's Rivals actually, and Need for Speed Rivals on the Xbox One with the G29, and everybody's like, "It's a fake! It's a fake!" Absolutely not. Just plug it into there, and you get the full force feedback on the games, which is uh, it's pretty cool. Obviously, gaming PCs quite snazzy now they look really nice don't they with the illumination so i added that also to the track racing cockpit so i've uh, run some led light strips just underneath and they're usb powered off the console so when i boot the machine up they just come on automatically so there you have it sony 4k tv runs the games obviously you see daytona 3 there it looks very good doesn't it that's in a tracked mode but yeah so every console like i say all with the Logitech G29. Hopefully it addresses some of the uh, some of the questions that you've had on some of my previous videos. And uh, if you've got any questions, comment below and hopefully I'll be able to fill you in. But the uh, track race, it costs around 500, 600 UK pounds. Logitech G29, you can get it in the deals at about 150 quid. It's not expensive. TV, we're talking, what, 500 quid? Uh, gaming PC, anything up to a thousand pounds, and then everybody knows what consoles cost, and eBay can sometimes be your friend. But there we go, that's the Griffo Media Racing Cockpit. There you go. Thanks for checking out the channel.